YouTube, what's going on? With EP coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know I can't stop. Let's keep the fire going. Today I'm gonna do a reaction video. I'm gonna do a reaction video to an article I just read from CNN.com. They constructed a survey with Bank of America. Say 71% of employees felt like the cost of living is outpacing their salary and their wages. And I just did a video a few weeks back stating that it's time to keep all money in, save everything because Inflation is crazy, the economy is just everywhere. So it's ironic, the timing is, is ironic of this article and I just read it. So I'm gonna leave it in the description. It's gonna be a good one, stick with me. Before I start the video, please watch the entire video. And if you like it, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this and just content about life and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, I start off with the article, CNN.com. They constructed a survey with Bank of America, so start off with some quotables from the article real quick I'll leave it in the description there's a growing evidence that Americans are struggling to keep up with crushing inflation nearly three in four employees say the cost of living is outpacing their salary and wages according to a Bank of America sponsored survey shared first with CNN on Tuesday that's up from 58% in February so just think we up 13% hasn't even been a full year that's just from February, from 58% to 71% now. The survey, which was taken in July and polled people who participate in 401k plans, reported that half of the employees said that they have taken action to cope with financial strain in the past six months. Among those taking action, 21% say they are tapping emergency savings to pay the bills. 21% are working extra hours. 20% are looking for a higher paying job and 6% are resorting to a 401k hardship withdrawal, the survey found. The Bank of America survey found that despite being employed, 60% of workers are stressed about their finances. Yeah, like I said, I just did a video about this a few weeks back. I said it's gonna be, it's gonna be ugly out here. It's gonna be tough. People scratching the claw for everything. They say we're in a recession, got inflation, economy is everywhere. I mean, it, it, it's, it's real rough out here. You can't have just one stream of income. That won't cut it. And honestly, I don't think that'll cut it 2022 going forward. One stream of income, it just won't cut it going forward. It seems like they're trying to cut out the middle class. That's what it seems like that, you know, the government, the economy, that's where we're headed. Like there will be no more middle class. It'll just be, you know, lower class and upper class at this point. That's where it looks like we're headed. Because if you, you look at inflation, you look at prices and when you go to the store, you shopping, price of food very rarely goes down. You know, gas will fluctuate. Gas will always fluctuate, but food, no. I still been waiting for, get four bag of chips for a dollar. Remember them days? You get four bag of chips for a dollar, 25 cent. Now you get two for a dollar. You lucky if you can get that, depending on where you go. You used to get four bags of chips for a dollar. Now you lucky if you get two. Candy bars used to be 50 cent. Get you a Snickers and a payday with a dollar. Now you need a dollar and some change just to get one candy bar. So <laughs> it's not going back down. One thing about food, very rarely goes back down. Only time I seen food fluctuate in the past year is chicken wings. <laughs> Bone-in chicken wings. It was a shortage on chicken wings earlier this year. So chicken wings were so expensive. Traditional wings were so expensive. If you eat wings, you know I'm telling the truth. It was so expensive earlier this year. Now, you know, it's finally kind of leveling back off. Chicken wings, phew, prices was out of this world for some chicken wings. 
you had to find an alternative. <laughs> if you like chicken wings, you had to you had to be boneless. You had to go boneless. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy out here. Inflation, it's no joke. It's no joke. That's why I say all money in, save everything. It's crunch time. It's crunch time. Drop any extra baggage that you have, any extra bills that you really don't need. If you watching Netflix, you got a Netflix account, you really don't watch Netflix, cut that account off. Say that $10, whatever it is, $15, say that. A lot of stuff we just have just to have. Like, look, like Netflix account, for example. Things like that, Hulu, whatever you use. If you're not really using it, cut that off your membership. Cut that off your account. Save everything, because it's going to get tight out here. It's going to get rough. So... I definitely want to, you know, share that with you, share that with you all because it's gonna get rough out here. And I just made a video a couple of weeks back because I could see the landscape myself. That's what made me do the video. I was, I was just looking out here, going into the store, buying things. Like, damn, this shit high as hell. I'm going into the store like, god damn, what the hell? So I could see it. it made me do a video about it because I seen it coming. Timing is ironic. Video just, I mean, the article just published from CNN.com. So, it's gonna get rough out here. So, stay tight, stay right. And try to find multiple streams of income because one income will not cut it going forward in 2022. That's just what it is. So. That's just what it is, and that's the facts. So, brace yourself, tighten up, don't lighten up. Save everything, all money in. As my guy Nipsey would say, all money in. So, had to keep coming with the fire. You know, I'm not gonna stop. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, save the video. Let me know what you think. It's tight out here. Had to knock another one out. Woody P coming back with another one. <laughs>